Come here, Wing. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm gonna test my blood type, and I'm gonna show you all how to do it too, in case you want to. And then we're gonna test Wing's blood type, right, Wing? We're gonna test your blood type too. Nah, we're not gonna test Wing's blood type. Okay, <laughs> let's get started. So this is the test kit. It was eight dollars and sixty-five cents. And then I had to pay shipping and handling, so that can vary. It could be a little bit or a lot, depending on where you live and what company you're ordering from. Um, so I think for me, this came to about $16 all total. All right, so you got an Elden card, which is what you're going to drop the blood onto, and then the water. It has this, which is called a lancet. You're going to use it to prick your finger to get a little blood going. You could also prick your ear if you want to do that. It comes with a little pump, and you drop some water on top of the blood and the card to show to show and see what your blood type is. Oh, I see. And it comes with a cotton swab and four Elden sticks. And actually what you do is you put some blood on the tip of the stick, and then you tap it into the water on the card, and then it, you'll see your blood type. Well, we'll do all that so you'll see. An alcohol swab rubbing alcohol, and some instructions. Let's get into it. Okay, out of there comes this. The Elden card. Okay, I'm going to get some water in my dropper. Let's see if we can get some more. Alright, that looks pretty good, huh? Now, I'm going to carefully put just one drop onto each of the blood types. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, now I got the four Elden sticks out, my alcohol swab, and I'm gonna get this out of here. So gently turn. Now I'm going to rub my finger, make sure it's nice and clean. Now here we go, it's about to get real. It's supposed to click. Oh, I see. Ah, now I push. Okay. So, now Got some blood coming out. Hang on. Here's drop number one. Where's my finger? Okay. And Okay, now I hold it like this for 10 seconds. One, two, Well, it's obvious the two that had the reaction. It's, I don't know if you can see it very well, but the two in the middle are just blood color and the 
anti A and control R uh, have reacted. Okay, so looks like I'm. Let's see. Okay, so mine had agulation on anti A, none on B, none on anti D, but the control field also had agulation. What this means, see it's basically the same thing here. If agulation is on anti A, that means I am A with RH negative blood. So I don't have the rhesus gene. However, the control field, that's the far one here. On mine, it is all agulated. Therefore, um, when that happens, the control field contains no antibody, but only the same phosphorus buffer that has also been applied to the other test fields. However, agulation in this control field is unspecific and means that the test cannot be evaluated. In this case, a determination of the blood group can only be carried out with a different system. So, there you have it. I might be A positive, I guess, or is that A negative? I don't know, but looks like A and RH negative. I think that's pretty rare. Um, but, since there is agulation on the control field, I have to go into the hospital to actually get it tested and see what that all means. Wow, so interesting. Uh, so... I guess I'm going to keep checking it out. But now you guys know how to use it. You take out the card from the package. And then uh, you get your dropper. You get a cup of water. You fill that up. You take your alcohol pad. Where is it? You take your alcohol pad and rub it on your finger or your earlobe. And then you twist the little green part and gently pull it out. And then you put that on your finger or your earlobe, push it down, and then you hear a click, and you feel a little little tiny pinch. I was just joking when I went, ah. And then you push it down, and then pull it out. It doesn't hurt. Don't worry about it. Um, and then you get a little prick, and then you can squeeze it, and blood will come out. Put them onto here. Take that, and then rub it all around the drops of water you put on here. And I didn't rub it enough. You should rub it a lot more and then stir it all around to get a good thing. And then you just take it and do 10 seconds like that. 10 seconds like that. 10 seconds like that. And then you see which ones stay regular blood color. And then which ones agulate. Hmm. So there you have it. Maybe I'm RH negative. I've seen some people saying those, whoops, <laughs> maybe I'm RH negative. I've seen some people saying like RH negative people are all psychic and like alien and stuff. It's pretty cool, pretty fair. So I'll follow up with you guys and tell you. I'll go to the hospital and see what I am and then I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I was saying agulate, but it's agglutinate. <laughs> Sorry.